Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4 here to bring us more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, and welcome to the All Pro Second String Division. The previous season, season 5.2, was the Pro String First String, and we ended up going 9 0, but we ended up play losing in the playoffs because the guy was doing face catches with Gronkowski, it was a total mess up. My cornerbacks were gonna have three interceptions each, but Bullshit happened. We didn't get the interceptions, and you know it was just a bunch of uh, you know, mess ups. And I was pissed after the game. I was so pissed that I did the large quick sell, and I ended up getting a thousand coins. So my bad luck even continued after that. So yeah, that was a large quick sell, but I'm not gonna show it because it got me pretty much pissed off. So yeah, I'm not gonna show that one. But anyways, hopefully we do good in this season. And by the way, I want you guys to keep an eye on this gameplay. It is very interesting to see because I want to I want to warn you guys, you know, at the end of the video about something. And hopefully you guys you know learn from this because it is gonna be a big deal for you guys. You know, so most of you guys are like join like barely joining MUT, barely starting. Well, I'll give you guys the big tip at the end. So, anyways, our first game of All Pro Second String, pretty much we ended up uh, being on defense first. The guy is pretty much slowly progressing down the field. He's not getting that many yards. He's getting five to six yards. And he scores a touchdown with a Sean Jackson right in front of freaking Antonio Cromartie. Unbelievable. Again, the interceptions are off our hands. And then right away with a fumble from Doug Martin. <sighs> well... As you can see, the bad luck continues after our playoff game. The guy ends up scrambling with Russell Wilson, and by the way, his key players is Russell Wilson and Deshaun Jackson, so might as well keep an eye on those. And also Marshawn Lynch on, this, on, this, on the running back position. He's just doing a bunch of screens throughout the whole game. He did a bunch of screens. So, uh, anyways, third and go. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go. Scores a touchdown with Doug Baldwin. I think that's Doug Baldwin. Oh, no, never mind. That's Deshaun Jackson, I mean. Sorry. Um, it's because he has the Seahawks uniform, and I'm thinking about the Seahawks roster. So, anyways, 14-0, third and 10. Converted with a little dive catch by Demarius Thomas. I was like, what the fuck? I've never seen a catch like that before. And Reggie Wayne with a nice uh, comeback route. And I did a little bit of a juke just to celebrate a little bit. Touchdown, Reggie Wayne. 40-yard touchdown. That was a nice, you know, wake-up call for this guy because for sure he was sleeping on me. It was 14-0. to The guy is falling asleep. Never do that against anybody, guys. That's my tip to you. Like, don't sleep on anyone. Back on defense, the guy doesn't have anybody to throw to. Antonio Cromartie does a sack right there. Or I believe it was my Richard Sherman. Um... I don't know which one it was, but that was a nice sack right there. Try to scramble out with Russell Wilson. No, rejected. Third and 12. What is he going to do? He's going to pull a PS. No, rejected. For the first time, that free safety does something important. If you guys go back into the previous seasons, is he never did anything. Eric Reed definitely did suck. Patterson right there. That should have been a pick. Six seconds to go. Five seconds to go. I mean, seven to seventeen. First and ten. What am I gonna do? I'm a lob it deep. Demarius Thomas with a catch. Demarius Thomas catches the ball. Unbelievable. Sixty-yard touchdown from a hail mary. That just has to be the most embarrassing moment for my opponent. That was just. Sherman, that's what that's what he gets, you know, for pulling the bullshit and also for my previous game, you know, I was like really frustrated. So I was amazed if Demarius Thomas caused that catch. Anything could happen in this game. That's exactly what happened. Doug Martin running to the left side with a counter and takes it all the way for a touchdown. 50 yard touchdown. 21 to 17. The tables have turned. Sack by Haloti Nada. Was that Halo? No, never mind. That was Namda Kasa, whatever his name is, or Sue. And third and fifteen, nothing happened. He ends up punting the ball, first and 10, 21-17, counter to the left side. If I find a weakness on my opponent, I'm going to keep on calling that same direction of a play. And that's exactly what I did. Curl route with Demiris Thomas, nice uh, speed uh, throw right there. If that wouldn't have been thrown out, for sure I would have gotten picked off or a sack. Patterson, nice uh, you know, hole right there between the cover three. And again, I called it in. As I see, I know the weakness of that cover three right there with that defense because I also called it in. So, um, yeah, I know the exposed, uh, you know, defense of the cover three out of the 4-6. And I know how to defeat it. Even I've been, you know, pretty much been burned several times with the cover three out of the 4-6. So I'm looking for a new defense lately. Um, anyways, 
The guy ends up throwing the Hail Mary towards the left side. Tries to scramble Russell Wilson. No reject and no touchdown for you. 28 to 17, 2 minutes and 30 seconds to go. Travis lobs to the right. Antonio Cromartie with the interception. Where were you last game, man? Seriously, you had a pick right in front of you. You didn't do that shit. So I was like, what the hell, Antonio Cromartie? Where were you in the playoff game? Anyways, a slants with two Patterson and takes it all the way for a 75 yard touchdown. 28 now turns it 35 to 17. Never, ever, ever sleep on anyone, even though you have the largest lead of your life. To never do that. That's my tip for all of you guys. That's my biggest tip. Do not, never, do never sleep on anyone. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, right? <laughs> Anyways, never sleep on anyone, guys. You always keep on attacking, make him quit. Never feel so confident. Just keep on calling your same shit over and over again. And whatever keeps on, you know, he keeps on calling. You try to beat that defense no matter what, you know, because this is what's going to happen. I ended up shutting down this guy in the second half. I made how many touchdowns did I do? Like 21 unanswered points? Damn. I thought I was going to lose, seriously. The first half, I was like, yeah, this is going to be another one of those games, man. But no, I made the comeback, and this is exactly why I'm the nerd dog, guys. You guys didn't expect me to win, and look what happened. 35 to fucking 17. So that is it, guys. Subscribe for more if you guys want to see more MUT.